supposed to be your moment, ain't it? It's supposed to be your moment. It's supposed to be your moment. It's supposed to be your moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? What the fuck is Big Mouth? Check Twitter DM. I just sent you car. Got you a little Mustang. I feel it. You don't have less room and shit. You you with that shit? Don't call me daddy, nigga. You think the drama's real? Yeah. Definitely. No, I think I think this nigga's clickbaiting. Why I'm leaving too hype response to Mopey and TD. That's the like the title of that nigga Mopey shit. That one female was on cold ass all summer. Bro, that bitch is stupid. Fuck her. Let's watch this bitch. Seats on screen and I also read the video throughout mine a couple times. So Can y'all hear? You guys go watch that if you haven't yet. Some of the things I'm gonna talk about, there's no way to have a receipt, like there's no tangible evidence. And there's gonna be times where it's just my interpretation of a situation. I'm just here to refute the lies that he says in his video and give context mm. to the half truths, mm. um, mm. tell my mm. side of things, but also take accountability and apologize for the wrongs that I did do. I'll be addressing the TD video too and talk about the situation with him and Lowe's. You think but he's clout chasing, nigga? So you tripping? For the Tyler situation, you don't have to sit through the whole thing. But I do encourage you. His hair to pisses me off. Right through. What kind of hair is this? Is this real? How you even get your hair like that? These fucking curls. Like, these aren't twists. I don't know what the fuck this is. Is this real? As it does all tie in together. They don't look like twists. The Tyler's video. I'm not going to address every detail because a lot of it has to do with the other guys. And honestly, what he says about me directly is mostly circumstantial. I'm gonna show clips from his video and then talk about them. And I will say some of them will be excerpts or cut down, but that's not an attempt to manipulate That shit looked him. like, um, and if you it low key looked like carpet, bro. Y'all know that type of carpet? I don't know, it's hard to explain. If you've already watched his video, you'll know the context. And I'll be cutting out the dead spaces when I talk or start to ramble. So first up, we have the cease and desist that he shows here in the beginning. They sent me a cease and desist letter. <laughs> so I do need to be careful with what I'm saying because they're threatening to sue. Oh my God, bro. Hold on. Hey, can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me now? Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello? Okay, I'm back. To me, I've literally only said L hype, and I'll be making a video, and they're already sending me a cease and desist letter. Like, what does that tell you? Like, so he starts out here with a half truth, and for somebody that wants to accuse us of manipulation, you literally manipulated this situation right here to try mm. to make us look bad. Like Jesse already said in his it's video, good, baby you and dad threatened us with legal action on November 21st, almost mm. a month before this was sent, causing us to get a Your lawyer. shit on his chest. Us. What the fuck? This is not a lawsuit. We did not file a lawsuit against you. It's merely a warning not to disparage us. or. How long is this vid? Uh, 37 minutes. That's a pussy ass beard. Damn, why you hating on the nigga beard, bro? Collected. And the only way to have a case for defamation is if the statements made are in fact false. So we were basically saying, hey, we saw the insult you tweeted. We saw you're making a video. Don't. Are you gonna skip through? No. Video, Why? Which you proceeded to do anyway, but that's besides. Why would I skip through? We Zach. He's just one of the fakest people I know. His like, face so screams, people, "Rob me!" <laughs> like, hate who they what does Mopey's face scream then? They hate, and you only hear their side. And then once you get out, you can hear the other side and be mind blown at how shit actually is because you only hear pussy ass people nigga people walk and lick. I punched this dude in the face. Why y'all hate Zach? Y'all hate fucking 
Bro, I think, like, bro, there's, like, so many people that hate LSK. I don't know. Maybe it's just the Twitch side of things. I don't know. Drug addict. You say he looked like a drug addict? His face screams, I'm a civilian? The fuck you talking about, nigga? This nigga's supposed to look like a fucking James Bond fucking threat, nigga? Because that's literally what you're doing with this video. Trying to get people to hate us without knowing <clears throat> both sides of the story. And I never His hairline sideways? Else in the group, not to talk oh, you to looking anyone, way too to hard. With anyone. You can talk to whoever you want to. What's I good, mean, Jay? It's not my concern. And it's funny how you attack Chris and call him manipulative for telling you to unfollow people he doesn't fuck with anymore. Your chat toxic you as fuck? I don't know why, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, I ain't said one bad thing about dude. Like, these niggas just attacking this nigga. Exact thing to his girlfriend and other girlfriends in the house when you asked them to unfollow your ex when y'all split up. Chris's girlfriend didn't listen to you, so you sent... Bro, what the fuck? <clears throat> Wispy, um, I need you to, uh... Get in this chat and read this out for me. You feel me? Because I'm not reading this shit. You know? I'm not reading this. Her a long message. Y'all want to summarize? Shot at it and send it to Chris and try to convince him that he needed to force her to unfollow your ex because it was disrespectful to you. You did mm. have a much nicer approach than Chris, but the sentiment is the same. And I'm not trying to undermine your feelings here on the situation. I'm okay, read it to me off stream. Like earlier this year, Wispy's my professional reader. Whenever something's too long, I'll be like, hey, you know, read this to me. I received terrible jokes from Chris and Zach. Like, terrible. Like, I can't even, I can't even talk Who's about gay? It. And caused so much pain. Like, and I was already in such a bad place this year. And it's on me that I didn't tell them to stop. The only time the joke stopped. Bro, every time the video switches to Mopey... I feel like energy's being drained from me. Does anybody else like feel like that? He was talking about how he didn't want her to follow his exes. Who? Who? This shit really gay? This whole me. situation gay? That's what it takes for them to stop, I guess. Now, the jokes that he's talking about were never made. And no, it wasn't anything anti Semitic like I've had people accusing me of now because of the ambiguity and what he said just there. And I. This nigga said ambiguity, my nigga. Are we serious, bro? Are we serious? Type one if y'all know what uh, this means. Let's see what he said first. I missed the other shit. Now the jokes that he's talking about were never made, and no, it wasn't anything anti-Semitic. Like I've had anti-Semitic. Isn't that like some like racist fucking? It's su it's some shit like that. I don't even remember. People accusing me of now because of the ambiguity and what he said just there. And I can't get into detail. Oh, yeah. Anti-Jewish. Without telling his personal business. Wait, why is he being accused of, uh... Yeah, you can't talk about the Jews. They get your shit up out of here. Them niggas is... Them niggas is big gangster. <laughs> them niggas get your shit deleted, nigga. Them niggas run this shit. But, uh, what, what, what the fuck did he say? They don't play, nigga. They run the world, nigga. Mopey's a Jew? <laughs> Makes sense, nigga. Oh, he finna get to a hype up out of here, nigga. I ain't even know that shit. See, now, now it makes sense why his dad was spazzing like that, nigga. Because his dad hold that Jewish weight. You know? He was probably tripping on these niggas. Oh, them niggas, this niggas is done, nigga. 
which I will not do. He says I made them earlier in the year and they miraculously stopped when he told us he was taking his first week long break, which was June 14th during the weekly meeting that we have every Sunday as a group. But I didn't hear about these jokes until December 13th when I went to talk to him in person after he told Jesse that I made these jokes and that he's hated me ever since. Again, the jokes he's accusing me of are 100% not made. This isn't something that can be proven yeah. evidence as it was supposedly in person, but bro, I just wish you would have gay ass couch background. How's that gay? Come to me back when you thought I said it instead of waiting almost a year and pretending to be cool with me the whole time. Like we could have squashed it way back then, including making me seem mentally unstable, which Jesse, Chris and Zach have already participated in. Like Zach was retweeting. Mopey's room scares you. It does seem like something's just going to jump out and just like be like you know those videos where like everything seems normal and then some fucking like just weird like shit just pops out I mean like mental illness stuff and it's just like it's such a joke another lie here i don't joke about mental illness is it's something i deal with myself and i never once tried to make you seem mentally unstable online and the retweet that he's talking about is this one here that was tweeted on december 12th the same day that we won the streamy award i first retweeted this don't be disrespectful account as soon as it was posted and was wait what this nigga say tell your mother to shut the fuck up nigga and the retweet that he's talking about is this one here that was wait wait what's happening that was retweeting like mental illness stuff and it's just like retweeting mental Another illness stuff here, i don't joke about mental illness is it something i deal with myself and i never once tried to make you seem mentally unstable online and the retweet that he's talking mental illness is hard even when you have me to be happy like it's gonna be hard what, what is this about is this one here that was tweeted on december 12th the same day that we won the streamy award i first retweeted this tweet here from our two hype account as soon as it was posted and was scrolling through twitter looking at people celebrating with us saw her tweet the shit resonated with me i figured there were other people out there that follow me that might need to hear it so i just retweeted it and tyler you didn't even tweet until over an hour after all this happened it had nothing to do with you bro no never forgive chris and zach for turning jesser into the person he is like <laughs> Y'all think uh, Zach and uh, LSK, you know, molded Jesser into a new nigga? He's lived with them for too long, and like I couldn't. Like, Bro, I was skimming through that shit. I was so not reading it. That I couldn't do more for him and help him out, but between Chris, Zach, and James, like, I, there's nothing I could do really. I mean, I I, I probably could have done more, but I just have to accept it and move on. Right, Kai. Just know I can't do anything now. First of all, bro, Jesse's only lived with me a year longer than you have, and that was in the Mopey's a bitch. And at that time, I was still doing electrical engineering, so I was barely ever home. I'm proud of the man Jesse's become. He's done nothing but mature and succeed since the day I met him. And when he bought his house and moved out, he literally told you that you could live with him when our lease ended in Calabasas. It's like you expect this dude to just fuck around and play video games with you all the time, like when you guys were kids. But at some point, bro, mm. people grow up. He's running multiple businesses. White people grinding, weird. And it's unfair that you take that as him not caring about you anymore. Mm. You just want to blame everyone else around you for how you're feeling instead of looking in the mirror and mm. figuring out what you need to do. Knowing how they mm. Zach talking his shit, nigga. Let that nigga know. They're all soft. Mopey just the softest. I agree. How about you just confront them in person instead of this bullshit? Facts talk to like editors and people that are helping them out and like it's it's just it needs to stop i've never talked bad to an editor or anybody else that's ever helped me with a video in any way and the only editor we've ever had a problem with is this dude here who's literally a disgruntled ex-employee that used to work for jesse damn disgruntled ex-employee this nigga bringing out all the words but he was constantly late with videos he was using that his pc specs weren't good enough as an excuse so jesse went out and spent thousands of dollars to buy him a brand new pc never asked him to repay it but he was still late with videos even after that so he replaced him then we hired him for the two hype he first started in, in the summer of 2019 and he wasn't performing there still repeatedly late getting a Damn. first draft of the videos look a lot of these editors are bitches i don't know this situation and shit nigga but just from my experience bro they always come up with helly excuses bro 
like dead ass. They're like never on time with shit. Fucking same with these thumbnail maker niggas. I don't know. I don't. I guess people who get into that type of shit, they are just like not reliable people. Like it's weird as fuck. Um, very weird, bro. They'll like make you miss like hella uploads because of like crazy excuses. You'll make them both your bitch in jail. What? And most of them seem to be like, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me not say that, bro. And full videos. So he got replaced again. And it's also worth mentioning that this dude inquired about working for Jesse's second channel again when he was looking for editors this past summer. That makes no sense. If we were such shitty people, he wouldn't want to deal with us again. I've been numbing myself and hurting myself for a while. And um, yeah, I've been abusing uh, the sauce, the devil's lettuce. The I'm not sauce. Not word for demonetization or whatever, but yeah, I've been using Facts, that, dreams. nicotine, and in the past year, alcohol, like really badly, and it got so bad this year, and I tried to quit so many times. I tried to get help. Um, you know, I put like this text and like this is a great example. <laughs> like, That's how niggas be, sperm. Friends, um, talking about starting a drinking problem and stopping it, and <sighs> just trying to get better. And then everybody only has time to just just like it. Like just thumbs up, not a single word of encouragement or anything. Um, and just goes back to talking about video shit. And it's like, okay, cool, great support. And then we got Jesser over here immediately texting me after once he sees that for me to be in his sponsored video. Like I hadn't talked about these is issues I've been having. And then he doesn't even acknowledge it. At the end of this clip, he says, I haven't talked about these issues I've been having which is true at that point we didn't know that he had a substance abuse problem he was just like anybody else that you fart in his mouth you weird as shit more boy. Than anyone else in the house but it wasn't out of the ordinary because he had always done it more than anyone else in the house since the day he moved in now in the clip he shows this message of him giving us a heads up that he was taking another week off and he tries to say that we didn't show any support at all besides liking the text now just for reference this was the second time that he extended his break and like I said earlier, it started June 14th when he told us he was going to take a week off to get like a mental break, take care of some personal administrative stuff and try to get off nicotine and alcohol. And the next Sunday, June 21st, he said he needed one more week off and he ended up coming back at the end of June when he made the flight video and he was a part of a few of our personal channel videos. And as you can see from the date of the text, he tells us this Friday, July 3rd, that he's planning to take another week off. So this was the third week. He took two off in June, kind of came back at the end. He wasn't feeling it. So he decided to take another break, which is completely fine. And I'd already talked to him in person a few times about how he was feeling. And I let him know that I was there for him if he needed. Bro, does he respond to uh, Wolfie time, in this? I decided to take a break too, because I'd had a rough month in June. I uploaded like 10 times. Facts, Don. Bro, he's not a crackhead, sperm. You gotta relax, bro. Do you even know what a crackhead looks like, bro? Which doesn't sound like a lot, but you have to understand I'm in a group. So when I record, there's like three or four other people recording. So I was in about 40 to 50 videos that month, not counting the two high Niggas videos, are school so shooters all addicted to so vape I pens. I really burnt out, and I kept getting these like waves of sadness that I didn't know what to do about, but I just knew that I needed to take some time to myself and figure it out. And I like quickly are weird. with him when I would bump into him around the house, which was fairly often because we both lived upstairs. And I actually recorded his video for him when he played Flight at the end of June. And if you guys saw Flight's reaction to Tyler's video, he talks about that day and how they were kicked. it after the recordings. And Tyler told him that he had been feeling like really sad lately. Bye -bye. And then he just kind of like brushed it on the rug and moved on. Now I was there too, since I recorded for him. And when mm -hmm. Flight left, we started talking about it again. And uh -huh. I was telling him how I'd been feeling the same shit lately. That was June uh -huh. 28th. And he told me that he might take another break the next week. And uh -huh. I was like, yeah, I think I will too. So when he sent the message, yeah, I just liked it, but there was way more to it than that. And a few days after that, the first day of my week uh -huh. off, I was talking to him about like helping him get a credit card because these niggas are on perks and Adderall. They just look dirty. 
who you think look dirty and too hype? I honestly don't understand why niggas love to vape. Shit just weird to me. This whole situation made me hate Los and his fan base. All them niggas were biased. Yo, cheeseburger, stop being weird, bitch. Wrong chat, nigga. The fuck is up with you? What the fuck? It, and we made plans to do it later that day, but he texted me and canceled. And then the other part of this text 12. is him asking me to be in a video Bye -bye. with Chris after he came back from the break. And we eventually recorded this video, but it never got posted, which happened many more times because he was wanting to switch up his content, but wasn't liking anything that he was making. So he didn't post until this video here on August 26th, where he refers to this himself. Something else that I've been up to for the past like two months is I've actually been recording videos. I have like nine or 10 videos just sitting that are not edited or anything. The reason I haven't done anything with them is because I haven't been the happiest with my content and I really want to step it up. And I felt like those videos were kind of failures. During the time he wasn't uploading, he told me that he was having trouble with motivation. I was kind of lacking some motivation. I was just kind of going through the motions and I wasn't the happiest with the content I was making. And if you're a YouTuber, you can tell when another YouTuber is having trouble with motivation. <coughs> so I would like try to do little shit to cheer him up just to like make him feel better or like try to like lift him up or like push him to get stuff. They're all druggies. Example, I got a Lululemon sponsorship, which was one of his favorite brands where the winner of the video would get a free outfit. The fuck is Lululemon? So I kept sandbagging when he was guarding me so that he would win and get the clothes. And here is an example of... It's just crazy how niggas deal with beef nowadays. Like, yeah, I'm gonna just make a video. Yeah, it's crazy. Me putting an extra effort in his video. Fire tights. This time and him thanking me for it. This video wasn't ever the uploaded fuck? either, but it was like a nighttime escape room in the dark. We were having to use like flashlights and I knew the footage was terrible because you couldn't see anything, but I tried my best to make it. Yo, this and, cheeseburger like, nigga, bro. I know what the fuck? Not anything super significant, but I was just trying anything. Rich white girl shit. And like be more adamant about what? conversations with him. Just so that he would at least feel heard. While I was not entirely. Why does he like leggings? For me, they'll say like. Mopey got a double life. Leak, 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 leak. Leak double life. Like they they didn't know, and I just kept to myself. It's like if anybody, nobody. I said I was taking breaks, and I. We don't ban for gay shit. Well, we delete their messages, and then end, eventually time out. Checked on me for like months and months and like my living and thinks nothing of it, it got so bad that it, but just me him his room was always like consistently him or helping him clean, trying to help me like it was just me here he's talking about us not checking on him or helping him clean his room or his hallway ever since i knew him his room was always like consistently messy so i didn't take why don't you help him out, out zach you the old guy was. so much stuff was in my room it was it was i was low-key hoarding for like years now his hallway did get bad um he started buying like hella props for videos random shit shopping a lot and he ran out of space in his room so he would just like kind of throw it in this hallway of his at the top of the stairs and yeah every time you go upstairs you literally walk right by it so we would see it all the time but it wasn't like we thought nothing of it as you guys can see i have a bunch of random stuff this is stuff that's been bought over the years impulsively damn they videos, say a mopey a hoarder be, everything that i need to get out of my living space is in this storage unit we got this unit yeah get all this stuff all these video stuff but wait but wait oh <laughs> We got a second storage unit. Yeah, I had to take. I wanted to show you guys, so I took. Uh oh, y'all saw, yeah. saw a sniper. Y'all saw a sniper. Yeah. Y'all see his sniper yeah. in full effect, my nigga. That nigga got the fucking prone shit, nigga. This nigga got a sniper, nigga. School sniper, Lee. <laughs> oh shit! We caught the nigga in 4K, bro. What the fuck? I knew something was off. I knew it, bro. That nigga got the prone position shit, nigga. 
I had to take, I wanted to show you guys, so I took out all the costumes and outfits. But yeah, this is what I'm working with for making the YouTube videos now. Before, all this stuff was either in my hallway, in my room, or just somewhere around the house, so I had to take it out. Eventually, it got to the point where it was embarrassing to even have guests over and have them go upstairs Damn. and see that. And I tried to help this dude clean up that hallway so many times. Bro, why don't these niggas just get, like, fucking chefs, fucking maids and shit like that why why didn't they just get a bunch of maids what do, what do y'all think the reason is because i heard there was flies infestations and all types of crazy shit nigga don't like all oh, rich niggas just get maids or they just leave that shit like that maids are cheap too nigga they cheap as shit he put this in the vid on purpose oh you think he was trying to show that Mopey had a fucking sniper in storage on purpose? Hmm. I understand. They're really cheap, bro. I, I fucking got a maid a couple times, bro. You know? If I can afford a maid, why can't these niggas get a maid, bro? but he would always say like, oh, I don't have anywhere to put it or just make up another excuse. My girlfriend even offered to help him because she was cleaning the whole house before she had a friend come stay back in like November of 2019. And he was like, oh, I'm gonna do it this weekend. And he never did. He finally does it like a month later and she still acknowledged it and said she was proud of him. That's one of the only times it was clean until he finally got this storage unit almost a year later and just threw all the shit in it after Jeff had to damn near force him to clean it with him. Throughout the video, he tries to convince- Get that nigga 24 hour ban, Lost. Nobody supported him. And I'm gonna be honest, Tyler, I wish I would have been there for you more. Get that nigga 24 and hours. More, and I know I could have done more for you, but you can't honestly say that I didn't try. These messages- Wrong person, Lost. You're banning the wrong person. What are you doing? Unban YT. Lost. Free him. What are you doing? He didn't even say nothing. How you just missing clicks? Proud of him. I'm a wait, wait, wait. Proud of him, a grown ass man for cleaning up after himself. You gotta coddle um, niggas with, you know, you gotta coddle a lot of people these days, man. Probably like 80% of people, it's kinda sad. We were at Disney World and recognized each other, man. How old are these niggas? I don't know, bro. Someone put all the ages down are from september 27th which was the night that tyler told us he didn't want to do the 100 thieves deal anymore in discord at the end of our weekly meeting he had never mentioned anything to a single person about having any issues with the deal before this so it was a huge shock to everyone and we asked him if he wanted to discuss it in person which he agreed to so we met at jesse's house and he proceeded to tell us that he didn't want to do the 100 thieves deal he gave like numerous reasons and he also said that he still wanted to be in the group but that he needed a real break from everything and this was also the first night that he finally told us about the substance abuse he opened up more about his struggles with depression how he was hurting himself and how he felt distant from the group his text is on the screen too long and after the meeting i texted him told him i loved him no matter what and he said he loved me too and that he hadn't forgotten how much I had done for him. At this point, I knew shit was serious and I told myself I would do everything I could to try to help this dude in any way possible. Like before, yeah, I was there for him, but it was just different now. Like when you have a friend sitting there telling you that they're down so bad that they're hurting themselves, like that shit made me sick to my fucking stomach, bro. What's good, Ricky? So we're just going to ignore the fact that this nigga was given praise for cleaning up. These are grown ass men. Niggas having interventions over washing dishes and shits. M niggas must be rich. Corral, 
big resub. I don't fuck with the ads. He <laughs> thanks for the sub, nigga. <laughs> hey man, shit different, man. And we asked him that night, like, if he wanted to hang out, like, try to make him feel better. But he ended up leaving. Everybody else stayed. And we were all pretty emotional about the whole situation. And we were talking. Jesse made a group chat so that we could try to figure out how to help him and make a plan to get him healthy again. And at this time, I was still living at the house. So the next day, I woke him up and talked with him. We had a really good talk. And he opened up even more about a lot. He told me how he felt Jesse and Chris had changed and he didn't feel close with Jesse anymore and how he thought James was disrespectful, but he didn't express having any problems with me. And he also told me that he was on prescription antidepressants, but that he never really took them because he felt like they would change him and he wanted to overcome what he was dealing with using his own free will. I told him that there's probably a reason that he was described them and he agreed to start taking them again and contact his therapist. The next couple days, I would wake up and go straight to his room and check on him, make sure he was getting out of bed, taking his medicine. Uh, we went on a couple- Damn, Nickers was making sure he fucking get out of bed? Swan, while you're watching this shit, these niggas are distractions. What are you talking about, bro? Drives, put the top down. We went and got breakfast one of the days. Like, I was just doing anything to try to like, get him outside and like talk to him and be watching this shit for y'all bro there for him and just prove that like i was really there these messages here are from the days that follow that we had a two hype shoot on the 30th it was the lakers versus heat finals video that we did and i texted him after the video late that <coughs> night because i was thinking about him and i went to his room to check on him and he wasn't there um, I saw him wine comas kill and we made a plan to take his clothes to a wash and fold where you just drop them off in a garbage bag They clean them fold them for you. You just go back and pick them up He said he had some errands to run but that he would be back later But I never heard from him then the next day. I went to his room again Made sure he was good. I was like yo, I'm gonna be busy tomorrow Mopey is actually a pussy, place, but I'm gonna check on you in the morning making sure he I take his medicine day. and like I'd already been packing <laughs> that whole week and Ready, but semen retention cured my depression every single day even when i wasn't staying in that who who in this chat has tried semen retention dreams i think all that shit a fucking genjutsu Who's tried that shit? Thought the benefits were all capped too, but that shit real? Y'all niggas is stupid as fuck. You made it 30 days? <laughs> Your anxiety goes away around females? Man, niggas is really gonna turn y'all niggas into incels. Hi, you're wrong. People like seeing niggas reactions to shit, man. That's life. The house anymore, like I was still checking on him and like trying to help him. Now that was just our messages. We were still like talking in the group chat before and after that. And a couple days later, we had a group meeting for Tyler where everybody was there and he showed up in a hundred thieves jersey, one of the hundred thieves jerseys that they sent us when we were like first in talks with them. Type one if you believe in semen retention. Type two if you don't. Bro, don't do that semen retention shit, bro. Then you gonna meet a bitch and you gonna bust in seconds and she gonna be cheating on you the whole time because you can't satisfy her, bitch nigga. Come on. It's healthy to bust a nut, nigga. It takes off the fucking edge. What the fuck are you doing? I mean, of course you shouldn't have a problem to where, you know, you're not getting sluggish and shit so you can't complete tasks. But nigga, like, what are you doing with yourself, bitch? Come on, nigga. 
You gotta tighten up, nigga. Niggas will take you, bitch. Y'all niggas over here doing semen retention for fucking months and years. Like, what? You just gonna be by yourself your whole life, nigga? The fuck is going on, bro? It is, nigga. It is your fucking. It is in your DNA, bro. To bust nuts. Why would you just stop that? Why would you stop that shit? You don't you don't think that if this was true that there would be like some crazy studies on this shit? Not just these fucking hippies saying that it's, you know, Like, come on, bro. Y'all niggas really... Niggas are really practicing celibacy, bro. What's up with y'all? AI, shut up, bro. That nigga's just talking. No, niggas been on that semen retention tip before so even said shit. On YouTube, all types of shit, bro. That's like literally a wave. Ban rage. Rage, I would fuck the shit out of your mom in front of you and your dad. And you would watch and... Not do shit, nigga. I would donkey fuck your auntie, nigga. And I'd fuck every female that's ever been in your family. Ruthlessly. Don't play with me, bitch. Lame ass, nigga. Ban that nigga. But y'all, y'all niggas gotta be... You don't have to be smart to realize it's not true at all. If you're going to do that, then do it for a different reason. Facts. I mean, bro, like, bro, you, you really think about it, bro. Like, for instance, <clears throat> busting a nut gives you a relief, correct? Like, okay, you go for a run. It gives you like a relief, a high clarity. You go lift a relief, high clarity. So it's like it all fits the same things. It gets you endorphins like a certain way. It's like a release, bro. So it's like, why would you stop doing that? That that, that That's like never going to go be active again or never take your your body to a certain level to where certain chemicals are released in your brain. You just shutting it off. You low key killing yourself. You know, because for instance, for instance, y'all ever been like OD interested in the bitch, right? OD texting her all types of shit, right? And then you bust your nut, then you don't, you don't, you know, it's like if you always keep that edge, you're, you're like going to be a super simp, nigga, because you're always going to be like in pursuit of it nigga because you're never like you know it's hard to explain bro but i don't know i don't i don't think niggas doing that shit for months they they gonna be a stupid simp nigga What the fuck can I hear? How he was feeling better and that he was considering doing the deal again. We had a shoot with 100 Thieves later that week on October 12th for the House Olympics video that's on their channel. And Tyler wasn't in the video. But you ever bust a nut after fucking a girl and feel disgusted? Coming around more. <laughs> and we all made plans to celebrate that weekend because my channel was about to hit a mill. 
he texted me congrats and we exchanged a couple more messages but those will be the last messages until after he was back no dreams it's opposite bro it's supposed to work opposite we had a meeting on the 18th, and this is the one that Cash talked about in his video where Jesse got really emotional. Tyler told us that he was thinking about the deal again. He didn't want to do it. He decided that it wasn't for him. And he also told us that he was going to take an extended break from YouTube. And you he was going to check himself into rehab. His plan was to get sober and then take a Don't break ask me no dumb question, Street. The group if he decided that's what he wanted to do or when he was ready. We told him to take as much time as he needed, that we'd be here waiting for him. He said that he would make a post on social media explaining everything so that the fans wouldn't be left in the dark. He ended up just posting an IG story saying he was taking a break and then he texted us this right before he left. That's how YouTube works. That's how the online scene works. Like they just block out the hate, the, the two I give fake people. Of the people sounds like some it's nothing i want to be a part of this makes no sense at all censorship of the people sounds like some conspiracy shit like i don't know every youtuber has a blacklist every streamer has mods nobody wants to sit i don't have a blacklist there and just read comparisons and hate and negativity i feel like, it like that shit is so bad for you mentally and i find it really hard to believe that's how you feel when you're the one that suggested to the group that we blacklist hate on the channel and i was told his name would be added when we joined 100 thieves because we knew people would see he wasn't part of it and they would ask what's happening and he never made a permanent post i can understand if it's thousands and shit like that and then if people go into the comments they're gonna be aware of that type of shit and then they're gonna know that there could be animosity there and it could snowball into I understand the whole uh blocking certain shit. Post letting people know what was going on. We weren't going to put his business out there, so we just made the statement that we made at the end of the Among Us video on the Two Hype channel on November twelfth. And you even say later Exactly hurt. in this next clip that you yourself don't like seeing that it's obviously out of context but again the sentiment is the same like we want to know we want the, the we want the people to know what the truth is for ourselves so that we don't see like comments um like not knowing what's really going on and things up in the air and assumptions made and this right here is the last clip that tyler mentions me in and just more nasty weird what's be out your goddamn mind we have made my decision of leaving much much easier because that's a big reason why I went to rehab. I wanted to get sober and decide if I wanted to be a part of stuff or not. I tweeted this because I was watching the video and I was thinking about you, bro. You were in rehab at this point and I was under the assumption that we were cool going off the last time we had talked. This wasn't to try to make myself look good. I had no reason to do that. None of this video is meant to devalue Tyler's feelings. He has a right to feel however he wants. And at the end of the day, I feel like all this could have been solved with communication. I don't have any animosity towards you, Tyler. I got no problems with you. I still love you. I'm still here if you need anything. And I sincerely apologize if I ever made you feel like you were alone. Or <laughs> Niggas alone. rehab for vape pen. Shooter! Been there more for you. Does he reply to Wolfie or no? I wish I could have been better for you. And hopefully one day we can resolve it. Moving on to TD's video. Now I'm going to be quick with this one. Most of this stuff was years ago. And I don't blame TD for making a video. He hasn't really said much over the years. And if he feels like he needs to get his side out there. <laughs> Why you say better, fuck Wolfie, Spur? Bring hate to us. That's fine. I can take it. Now TD's not a bad Facts, Kai. A lot of niggas. A lot of niggas don't be realizing, man. A lot of these bitches is just it's just you know like like niggas <sighs> niggas be stuck in a trap man glad that happens man but um yeah bad person none of these dudes are and he really did do a lot for us in lining up the Yorba Linda house and I never really had any glaring issues with him as a person I ain't getting in no fucking jam and manipulation in the video that he dropped that I'm gonna address Starting with what he says here in the beginning. I'm not I don't get no post nut clarity. Chat and, you know, show like gossip and try and take text and manipulate them and try and, you know, twist the story. I'm not going to do any of that. And I'm not going to be like Chris and put text up on screen 
and try and manipulate them. This is just funny because Rip Wispy in the chat. What you do multiple times throughout the video, just like this next part. I thought everything was good, and then just one day, out of the blue, I get to call that I'm kicked out of the group. Not only did I feel blindsided and betrayed, something with you're knowing it, for example, talked about with them, and something I always push for. And they didn't want to do it. Here's the first example of you doing this. Facts, Hart. It's like everyone just says everyone's lying. Is you black out my last name, but you leave the message there, knowing it looks really bad out of context and has mm. literally nothing to do with the point you're trying to make in that clip. And you did this on purpose to further your narrative that I'm some complete piece of shit person. And now I have people spamming me crazy shit because they think I made fun of a Make-A-Wish kid. Here's the mm. full text so that you guys... Wait, he made fun of a Make-A-Wish? Wait, hold on. It's exactly what you do multiple times throughout the video, just like this what? next part. I thought everything was good. And then just one day, out of the blue, I get to call that I'm kicked out of the group. Not only did I feel blindsided and betrayed, bro, to hear them saying they're starting a group channel, which is like something I always talked about with them and something I always pushed for, and they didn't want to do it. Here's the first example of you doing Cardi B better than Young day, Beyonce. Leave the message bro, shut there, the fuck up. It looks really bad out of context and has literally nothing to do with the point you're trying to make in that clip. And you did this on purpose to further your narrative that I'm some complete piece of shit person. And now I have people spamming me crazy shit because they think I made fun of a Make-A-Wish kid. Here's the full text so that you guys can see bye for yourselves. Bye. Now I will. He's tistic like the kids, so he gets nice pictures around him. Damn. He exposed Mopey. He a Make-A-Wish kid. None of those niggas respect him. LOL. Damn. How you feel about that, Sperm? How you feel about uh How you feel about him making fun of uh Make a Wish? Mopey Loki made fun of him too. I did worse? What? Bro, don't get banned. <laughs> How y'all feel about this? I need some insight. Fuck niggas, talk to me. Bro, I'm not banning you, bro. It's lost, bro. I don't even know what's happening. will say that even though I wasn't making fun of someone in the make a wish Bitch. program it was still extremely distasteful to use that as an insult and I apologize for that I moved bro I ain't never said nothing about no make a wish bro what the fuck are you talking about back to California to be close to you guys and so I could be in the group and so we could do videos together these people told me that the plan was they're gonna get like this huge a house deep, in a and that I would have a spot back in the house. I don't know who the hell told you that, but it was never a group discussion. Also, you already had a place with your girlfriend in Newport, and we're getting a second place with Walker and his brother, so that claim literally makes no sense. And also, I was getting with the landlord's daughter that created all this awkward tension. I, I don't know what he's grasping at here, or what he's, again, trying to manipulate. Uh, so we moved into this house. I had a good relationship with the landlords. Uh, they had two daughters. The whole family, successful, smart. He's trying to twist and manipulate the story. I never even held hands with this girl. So as far as anything to that extent, just completely untrue. And here's a 4K picture of the landlord's daughter at the sneaker con basketball game that you brought her to in July of 2017. She's sitting on the bench beside me and Brie Martinez. She's holding the jersey that you gave her before the game. Damn, he exposing his shit. What's good, Camu? This nigga got the most tired, happiest face ever. Hey, <laughs> that's how it be. Ew, he exposed this shit. He 
He said he never did anything with the bitch. He taking her out to games? You also posted a picture with her wearing the jersey and your arm around her on the IG feed. Not mm. story, Instagram feed, which is unfortunately now deleted. But if you were a fan back then, then you remember. She was over at the house multiple times, many of which you were alone in your room. Mm. And all of which is really weird to do with someone you didn't even hold hands with. Mm. You stolen from me. I Damn, why are you overexposing that nigga? Damn. Then this nigga say they stolen from me see them start the group channel and they start with the house tour you know a house that i was promised a room in and they're showing off things that were mine now Damn. i'm not going to talk about i'm not going to say like jidel you know the bet i gave to jidel i'm not going to talk about the fire pit that i bought because those things are for the group but personal items what the bitch like look like monitors and you know like my weights and, and stuff like that things that were mine they just kept damn they cooked they kicked that nigga out then use them for video TD look too nice, bro evil. And they're showing them off in the group video, and I asked for these things back. Our new gym, this is our gym. So yeah, this is our in-at-home gym. Um, this is a work in progress, but it's not done yet, but we literally just got all this. Yeah, cash has. It ain't about shit. Stuff like the week ago. Dude, you had to take a hallway to get here. This is another blatant lie. First off, the only two things in Welcome that back, room baby that creams. used to be yours are this bench right here and these two dumbbells over here. Mm. Both of which you left at the old house even after you moved back to California and could have easily got them. You never asked for them back and when the lease was up, you never came to get them. You just mm. left them there for us to deal with. The bench was in the garage covered in spider webs and dust and the dumbbells were broken. I was the last one in that house and the day that I moved out, I cleaned off the bench and washed it. I fixed the dumbbells and bent back the little metal pieces that were broken. Nigga, how you out here fixing dumbbells? I don't know about that. Loaded them into my moving truck and I took them to the new house. The rest of that stuff, we literally got about a week before the video was filmed. Now, I don't know what monitors you're talking about, but the posters that you say we stole, you literally left at the Yorba Linda house. <laughs> Talk your shit, the dreams. The you came to get was this rocket poster that you have hanging on your wall now. And here's the messages between us to prove that. When you you kick that nigga's knees inward? Why would you do that to LSK? He already got injury problems. Swan, you ever been inspired by a YouTuber? Yeah, myself, nigga. Um, my favorite YouTubers back in the day were fucking Hot Damn I Rock. That nigga is the goat of YouTube and the Hodge Twins. But the Hodge Twins turn into some weird MAGA shit. I don't know, bro. But old school them niggas, those were the goats, nigga. Hodge Twins and Hot Damn I Rock, nigga. Love them niggas. Hot damn I rock. Going through it now. Hodge twins lost it, nigga. No, bro. Th th this was before them niggas turned into that bullshit, bro. Nigga, fuck Chris Moo, bro. I, I will never watch my career videos. <laughs> never have, never will. Y'all come from a different time. So I wouldn't say inspired, nigga, because you don't see me making vids like them niggas. But, um, yeah. Nigga, fuck Chris Move, nigga. Fuck every My Career, nigga. You came to get it, you literally said... Hi, I ain't never watched one of that nigga's videos in my life. Fuck what that nigga stand for, bot-ass nigga. That nigga thinks we should get less fucking stamina. That nigga said he never ran out of stamina online ever. That nigga, fuck that nigga's, fuck that nigga, bro. <laughs> like what? What? 
you didn't want the other posters because you were going to get new ones but you were unable to find another rocket poster like you say here in the text so that's the only one you took you could have gotten the rest of your stuff too nigga i wish chris move would try to get me sent off the map nigga I guess, Hart. I mean, not really, bro. I just saw that, uh... I don't know, bro. I don't... I don't know, bro. I look at YouTubers as just, like, fucking lames. To be honest. It's just different for me. I just look at them as, like, finessers. Like, I don't respect them. I only respect, like, talented people that are, like, in my eyes, like, are, like talented. Like, you know, athletes, artists, you know, some, some type of, like, crazy talent. Not just a, a fucking manipulator and finesser, you know? But that's just me. Same shit, bro. Same shit about streamers, too. A lot of people, bro, they just... A lot of people... A lot of these people, they're not even real, bro. They just masked watched a nigga. And they mass watched a bunch of niggas. And then they just become all of them into one. Like, there a lot of these niggas are just Fredos mixed with this and that and that they're not even real people bro you know like they've never had experiences outside in real life because they've been homeschooled their whole life that made them be a, a individual person like they developed their personality from online you know they're literally internet niggas they see something work like pull people like that people become attracted to and they all bring it into them and it's not really them it's just an act bro they're not real people none of these niggas y'all like are real people 99 percent of them aren't real people they have not been outside in the real world and developed an individual personality, bro. Niggas ain't played sports, ain't did nothing, bro. They're not real. They're fake. All these niggas are fake, bro. I'm just letting you know. You ain't yeah, you 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 think I'm just talking shit, nigga. I'm just saying, nigga. You know? I I me myself, I'm a very unique person, man. I've lived through several different experiences, man. And I, I'm a I'm a I'm a true individual, bro. You know? But a lot of these niggas, they just take from this and that. Then they just I'm telling you, man. But you didn't. As a matter of fact, I was still in charge of handling, you know, the electric side of utilities until they kicked me out. And I was still making sure that utilities were being paid. There was even times where they would text me and be like, hey, TD, our water is... And you know what's funny? 99% of you niggas can't even tell. You can't even tell that these niggas aren't real people, bro. You, you're just attracted to someone that gives off the same shit as someone else that you like. And then it's just hand-me-down personalities. It's crazy. Then on today, what's going on? I'm trying to figure out what's happening because I paid the water bill. Will you need to get an annual water test in California? I'm across the country taking care of my mom and still doing things like this to help the group out. While I appreciate what you did, bro, nobody asked you to do it. All you had to do was call the utility companies, tell them you didn't live there anymore and take it out of your name. Then one of us would have to call them and put it in our name. And here are the messages of Chris and I handling the water situation. Not reading. You were on the other side of me. Ooh, you know. he's saying he's lying. Bro, all these niggas just say everyone's lying. Like in this nigga vid, bro, he said that 
he paid for all the utilities and shit. Now these niggas are saying they paid for it. Getting kicked out. So, in your opinion, I was feel this you like express business or was this personal? I'm not really on nobody's side. I think Mopey needs a father figure to lead him into something. Um, I don't really know. Like, all these niggas are just saying they're all lying. I don't really fuck with what Mopey did to someone that put him on and all that shit with the whole Jesser shit. I don't... <clears throat> that's about it, bro. I don't understand the rest of this shit, man. Obviously, this is just hearsay and it's complete bullshit. There had never even been a discussion about shares in the company at this point. And everybody in the group agreed that it was best for the group to move forward without Los, TD, and Mao. Like any decision, it was a mixture of business and personal, but only business in the sense that the vision that we had for the group channel and what we wanted to do as a group, we felt like would be more easily accomplished without them in the group, which again, everybody agreed on yo show well he got to stand up for himself jr it's period bro I don't, I don't know where he from you know like gossip and try and take text and manipulate them and try and you know twist the story i'm not gonna do any of that but here's just a few of them and like i said these are between chris and zach zach texts chris saying dude shit's crazy and i know he'd be nasty host too chris responds with yeah Take him whatever he can. Laugh my ass off. Zach then followed it up with exactly. Sheesh. Here's another one. Zach texts Chris saying, Did you get a long ass text from Lewis? Chris says, Laugh my ass off. Yep, Facts, mister. It. Best apology yet. Haha. -ha. Zach says, Laugh my ass off, bro. I don't even know what to say to him at this point. I think he's only Bye -bye. saying this because he saw the stuff we've been putting on Twitter. Well, that's interesting because Chris also complained about us putting out. Bro, because. He's not an internet nigga, bro. You know? Oh, subliminal messages. You Facts, dreams. Right there, that, that's what you did to Lowe's. And that's why he sent you an apology. Chris says, I haven't responded yet, but yeah, most likely laugh my ass off. And Zach says, I haven't either. I've already said all I can say like 20 times at this point. LOL. And Chris said, yeah. I think I'm gonna just say that, haha. -ha. I know the first clip was out of context, but it still applies as it's a blatant contradiction. He blacks out a huge chunk of that first text, leading people to believe that I said something super fucked up, but it was literally just a joke. Here's the full text so that you guys can see exactly what we were talking about. And for the second part, this is the tweet that wait, we were to. It was exactly what we were talking about. Dude, shit's crazy. And I know he be fucking nasty hoes too. Yeah, taking whatever he can, exactly, she's, I know he be raw dogging too. Yes, bro, I've literally asked him, what? Is that Los? Damn, they was going in on this nigga. They say he be fucking ugly hoes raw. Any bitch he can get. Damn. About and for the second part, this is the tweet that we were referring to. It was nothing subliminal like you claim. And like we said in the text, we had already been down this. Road what the fuck? And the apology. Them niggas was hating on Los. That's some hating ass shit. Them niggas supposed to be a nigga. Damn was for not working to his full potential, not for anything he did to us because honestly, he didn't do anything to us and he never really did. Now, regardless, it was shitty to even say anything behind his back. I don't know what my problem was back then. I think I was just unhappy with myself. Let that nigga fuck bitches. Let her like, damn. In some of the situations I was in and I would project that onto Lewis, but no matter the reason, it was fucked up. And when everything went down a couple years ago with Los and he found out that I was talking behind his back, I made up a bunch of lame ass excuses instead of just owning up to it. Now I did apologize to him back then. Here's the message I sent. 
and that was the last time I spoke to him, but I don't Can someone read this real fast and summarize this shit? Blame him for not accepting it because the messages literally right above it were me trying to make excuses. But I did mean what I said and I want to apologize to him again. Damn. I'm sorry, bro. I fucked Now he's apologizing again? There ain't no excuse for that shit. Up and then try to blame you when it wasn't your fault. We had a good <laughs> friendship and a lot of genuine times together. Like I'd be traveling for work and I would go to Jersey in between jobs to kick it with him on some like real shit. Like a lot of times we wouldn't even stream. We would just go hoop or like chill in the attic. I met his family. Los put Zach on, bro. Zach wouldn't even be in this too hype shit if it wasn't for him, man. I don't. I don't like how people who. Um, like get put on by certain people and then like they just turn on them. I don't know. I think there should always be like a a, a crazy respect. Would you wear a chain? I have a chain. Not no corny shit. Some chill shit. Who I also owe an apology to Jake and his dad for doing that to their brother and son. I'm sorry, Carlos. I still got love for you, bro. You're one of the most entertaining streamers on any platform, and I'm sorry for the betrayal. Oh, he man. dick sucker. Nothing but the best. The last thing I want to talk about in this video is the leaked Discord call. Supposedly, an old friend of Jesse's leaked it, but it was TD who. Re you started the young Baki. Shit's good so far. Hey, man. I ain't seen that bitch in like over a decade, bro. But from what I remember, I love that shit. It, it was like one of those animes that would like motivate you to um like be better in life, like work out, all that type of shit. So I really fucked with it. Recorded it and leaked it. Now TD was at his house, but we were all in the same room at the two hype house on one phone in a private discord. Why the fuck would some random friend of Jesse's be in a call where we're telling a member of the group that we don't want him in the group anymore? And in the clip, you can see him looking at his monitor when he's talking about it because he has the full call right there. And then he acts surprised when it got leaked on Twitter. Like, come on, bro, you're not fooling anyone. You saying I don't have an accent? Or are you talking about this nigga? With that shit. And everyone took turns talking on this call, but it was only Chris and I's part that got leaked because we're supposed Leak. to be the villains here. And I'm gonna play audio for you guys that end up getting leaked. And I really wish the entire conversation was out there. From Hawaii, how don't I have an accent? Shut your bitch ass up, you lame fuck nigga. Eat dick. Because it would've looked a whole lot worse. But we're gonna play what we got. Tight schedule that we're gonna start doing now that we've moved out, we're getting settled in. Like, things are gonna move really quick and like, my top five is Naruto, Yu Yu Hakusho, Bleach, um, Hunter x Hunter, and DBZ. Bro, every afternoon, I'm on the beach drinking pina coladas, my nigga, in Hawaii, chilling. Large scale. stuff and like not have you like aware and then also like given that we see like we're kind of like foreshadowing like looking forward to where this movement sperm i will give you a hundred dollars if you join discord Bye -bye. and talk to me for four minutes i will give you a hundred dollars bro nigga said i probably live in some weird ass sunny place what you mean, what part in Hawaii? Nigga, you're gonna fucking blow me up? Nigga, what the fuck? I will give you a hundred dollars, nigga. If you talk to me on Discord for four minutes, nigga. Four minutes, bro. I know you won't. Bro, I could give you a thousand dollars and I know you still won't do it I would love to hear your voice bro I would I swear bro just a simple talk for four minutes man
sperm will never talk to you niggas, man. You gotta be from, you gotta be an Idaho nigga, huh? You probably some UK nigga, huh? Where y'all think sperm from, little weird nigga? Where y'all think that nigga from? I'm from the South. You not from no South, nigga. He probably a hick. He probably sitting on yarn, chilling in the streams with horses around him. You're not black. Why are you lying? You're not black. He's a hard R spammer. <laughs> Bro, you don't even believe in God. So how are you going to put something on Jesus? Like, what are you talking about? Bro said he black, white sperm in his name. He was spamming white power, OD. On some weird shit. Bro, just join the Discord, bro. Bro, I'll give you I'll give you $101 to talk for a minute and two seconds. You could just tell us about your favorite sport. A minute and two seconds. He got gifted, nigga. <laughs> you know that nigga broke his shit. Nah, it's not a finesse. I do it. That's that's the real nigga word, bro. I'm the leader of the real nigga academy. See, the fact that I'm offering him this money to just talk for a minute and he won't says a lot, guys. It says a lot about that nigga. So don't let that nigga press you. It's gonna go and like we didn't see like you being like a part of it. We also just wanted to like come to you. Like, we'd hope that you could build like your own narrative as to how like we're not like together. And then like you know we wanted you to like let us know like how you wanted to go about that. Like are you like do you plan on? Because we didn't want to like publicly say this. I think like like we told Lobos like you you guys can like build your narrative you know like yeah we want like, to like we want it to be like you are like stepping away from too hype and going your own way what's good flex focus on your kick T the fans have. it's not like now I supposed to call on Discord. This was probably some of the dumbest shit we ever did. I'll give now, you I my too. I didn't want any negativity going towards them or towards us. And I thought that's what we were doing by going about it this way. But looking back, let's be honest, we were just trying to cover our own asses because what we were doing was dumb as fuck. It was a bitch move and we should have just been honest with them, been transparent with y'all and just dealt with whatever repercussions we got because of our actions. Simple. I apologize to you guys, Los, TD and Mal for that shit. We went about it completely the wrong way. But everybody's doing their thing. Mal's doing his thing. TD's doing his thing. Los is killing it on Twitch. Mopey's gonna do his thing and hopefully stay healthy. And I just hope that we can deal with this situation and everyone can move forward amicably. And I owe one more apology. That's to you guys, the fans, and everyone that supports us. 
I'm sorry for not being fully transparent in these situations and handling them the wrong way, which in turn caused all this shit and made you guys feel like you had to pick sides. And I don't blame you guys for judging me or sending hate messages because on the surface, it did look really bad, but I just hope this video gave you guys some insight. But I'm gonna get back to work, get back to putting out content for you guys. I'm gonna start the reactions back up on the second channel and just bust my ass to make the most out of this year. I'm sorry this took so long, but there was just so much shit that needed to be said. And I've definitely learned a lot from this and I'm gonna do better and be better. Thank you guys for watching.